Welcome, everybody, to what I can safely assume will be the final episode of this series. The final charge to take out what's last of the Empire. What is last of the Empire out of interest? We've got... Right, so we've got Amada, the Broken Empire's uh, settlement. It, it's an abandoned city or something like that. In three hours, the our faction, our allied faction, are going to be launching a combined assault on that. We could join them, but I think we need to focus our efforts on the final preparation. The final plans on making sure that taking the main base, the Empire's capital holding, is... I want to make sure everything is in place for that, rather than trying to split our resources. They might win that combined assault. If they don't win that combined assault, we'll have... Four artillery ready to go, and we're just going to shell them until that, that place crumbles. It's an abandoned city anyway, so that shouldn't be too much work. So then, what is left really to do? We've got a few more bionics to get through. We still have uh, a, a rack full of bionics there, which I'd obviously like to get installed and ready to go. Who is still waiting for upgrades? Um, so Rose is, but obviously Rose is probably going to be last because she is the doctor. Uh, Pierre is missing one Cyclops visor, so we'll go ahead and give him that one. Uh, so I guess Nartel already has some stuff, so there's going to be very little we can actually install on him. Uh, Edward Crosby is good. Uh, Pork, we've started to upgrade. Same with What's It, What's It is almost good there. Uh, Helotas did complete mess, probably doesn't need much upgrading, and Sharamus is already done. So really, we've only got like four more people to upgrade with the Bionics. Obviously, we've completed our Cataphract armor, our Cyber gear. One thing people have been asking me to check out, I put a comment on yesterday's episode basically saying, let me know what you want to see before we end things. And people wanted to see the um, bombardment satellite pod. So obviously we've seen the beam cannon. I'm going to put both in orbit and we'll take both with us to the, uh, to, to the Imperial base and hopefully we can blow up some of their preliminary defenses, maybe take out some of their IEDs, which we're going to definitely have surrounding the base. That's going to be the first thing we have to deal with. I imagine we probably could just charge Sharamus straight through them, but I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks. Damn, that was a good job. I double-checked that. So the quest to join them in the cooperative assault on Amada has ended. They've captured it. Thank God I double-checked that, because I was about to shell it with a load of artillery, and I thought, you know what, let's just double-check that that whether or not they succeeded. I didn't even know that they could succeed if we didn't back them in the quest, but it turns out they... Absolutely can. So all that's left is our faction and then and then the Broken Empire. We could even send some of our people to attack it, but I feel like that would be a bit of a disappointing ending if we just sent in the military and sat here and lived our regular day-to-day -day lives. Okay, how are we doing with the implants then? So we've got the nuclear stomachs going to Delta and Epic Crosby. We've got laser detection muscle wires. I have to apologize in advance if I end up repeating myself. OBS just crashed and I lost everything uh so i don't know exactly what i've spoken about quite yet but one thing i said was that i asked on yesterday's episode what people wanted to see and, and everybody said that they wanted to see also some people have asked to see the bombardment satellite pod because obviously we've seen the uh, beam satellite cannon before we use that to strike only against our toughest and strongest enemy that being a bunch of innocent tribals trying to defend their homeland so now we'll try the Bombardment Satellite Pod instead. This one is more akin to the Artillery Strike. I imagine it's more akin to the Artillery Strike that we've seen from um, the Empire's mod. This will cover a much larger area. But this is something we need to be very, very cautious if we are going to send in Charimus first. Is that why my shield generator is online? Because a panther is hunting Halatos for food. All right. Um, where is Halatos anyway? Halatos is coming through the kill box. Uh, better draft him up than just quickly gun down this panther. Uh, gun down... Gun down this panther? No. I Do they not auto-acquire animals that are hunting them anymore? I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Oh, for God's sake, he's not going to be able to hit it now. Get. Uh, excuse me. Who have I got? Oh, why have I got everyone selected? I was wondering why he wasn't wa walking. Okay, get through. Get through there. And let's get into this area. Of the you know, let's just kill it. Make sure it's dead. Otherwise, I, I was just going to say, we'll stop it being a manhunter. But I'm sure the second we leave the base, it'll just fire up again. Right, kill him dead. To be honest, Talatos, if you can't beat a panther to death with everything we've done for you, then I don't think you deserve to come on a mission when we're raiding the Empire. Uh, which probably also aim those artillery in a slightly different direction. Uh, is that better? There we go. We could fire some artillery preemptively, but I'm not sure it actually does anything. Because we were obviously on the map and targeted some artillery and nothing happened last time we gave it a go. So I think this time we'll we'll probably just go in with our bombardment pods, our beam satellite cannons and, and Sharamus, the one-man artillery. Oh, need material. What the hell are we missing? We can't make any more implants. We need silver. 
silver, silver, and I'm going to assume, oh, gold. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, shit, that's really put a damper on things, huh? Um, right, okay, that changes things massively. We can't do anything until we get more silver into the colony. Um, let's call in some trade caravans then. As soon as possible, preferably. Uh, go ahead and call in Exotic Goods Trader. I assume they'll have the most money to play around with. So we'll call those guys in. We'll try and sell them everything we possibly can. Everything we can spare. Is there anything else I could do to gain a bit, bit of silver back? Have we got any, like, silver statues? Uh, we do. Goodbye, chicken statue. I'm sorry. War with the Empire is more important. In fact, once we get Halatos upgraded, that means every single person besides Rose, obviously we're leaving her till last because she's the doctor, will have muscle wise. So we only need two more muscle wise, and then we can end the production on that one, which we've already got set up. I'll go ahead and do one on that one, one on this one. We kind of share the load a little bit. Um, don't need any more of those. Don't need any more of those. I want to try and tidy this up a little bit so we can keep a, keep a bit of a closer eye on what the hell is going on here. Um, all right, we can also on this one remove you and you and you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, fine. Let's not worry about green thumbs either. It's a little bit late for any more plant gathering. You know, besides the stuff we've got going on already, planting a whole new fresh field is... We're, ne we're never going to see the results from that. Okay, uh, exoskeleton would still be fantastic. This is all that's left then. Wow. Um, I should really go through and add up exactly what we need so we don't end up making extra... Not that it would really matter too much, obviously. So Sharamus needs no more upgrades. I'm going to actually order them in terms of people who need additional upgrades here. So I know Sharamus is fully upgraded. Fear, Pain is fully upgraded. Same with Pierre, I believe. Um, no, Pierre needs another Cyclops visor. Okay, sorry, my bad. So you are not upgraded. We use Rose as the buffer because we know Rose needs all the upgrades. Um, and for Crosby, two Barnic Arms. Oh, God. Two Barnic Arms. Oh, he's actually more upgraded than some of the other people, but in weird ways. So he's got Barnic Arms where other people do not. Uh, he also has the Lungs where obviously we're not doing that normally. But he lacks any of the decent eye and ear implants. Okay, so we'll keep him down there. Um, Port needs his upgrades. You're almost done. You need another Cyclops visor as well. Right, so if we get two more Cyclops visors, those two guys are done. And then it's just these four. Halitos has surely got to be almost done as well. Two muscle wires. Oh, a lot of his stuff, of course, is the mutant lights. Uh, sorry, the mutant eyes. The flash lamps there, which are not really needed for combat. Okay, so we've got a little bit further to go. And move Cyclops visors to the top. We only need... I was going to say we only need two more, but of course we need two more just to get our current boys upgraded. Then those guys can go the other side of Rose. I know that's a confusing way to do it. Then we've only got a few more upgrades to go in regards to the other fellas. Really depends how much silver we can get together before the end of the episode. That is the time limit now. How prepared can we get before... I'm going to give us like a 30 minute mark before we have to launch the raid. But if we feel like we're going to... Oh, wow. Really? How did you fuck that up? Really, Rose? 20.99 medical. She's the best doctor we've ever seen. She's got no medicine? She's got medicine. Uh, she's only got herbal medicine. Ah, that would be the issue. Okay. We can't make... We can't... Why can't we make regular medicine, though? What are we missing? Um, sorry, make medicine in bulk. We wanted to see the details instead. Sorry, my bad. Uh, we're missing... Cloth. Oh, right. We stopped growing cloth, so we can't make medicine. My bad. Um, in that case, let's go ahead and swap out how many grapes we got. Can we spare some grapes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could spare some room on, on the on the grape fields there. Let's go ahead and get some cotton down there as soon as possible. We'll get Pork working on that uh, right now, please, Mr. Pork. Is he the one with the green thumb? He is the one with the green thumb. So that means we need another musset wire uh, to go along with the two we're already producing for rows. It's a little annoying, but nothing we can't really afford, especially when the trade caravan turns up. Is there anything else I can do to get a little bit of silver back into the colony? Um, silver statues. Have we built anything out of silver? I can't think of any. I mean, we could remove some of these research counters, but I don't know how much they'd actually produce. How much was each one worth in terms of silver? 20. So that would only give, I mean, 800. I mean, 800 more silver. That's quite significant. Silver sarcophagus is empty. We could, we could take apart Smooth Octopus's silver sarcophagus and rebury them in like a limestone one. Okay. It, these are the compromises we have to make. Finding goods trader, that'll do it. Okay, Delta, Delta, Delta. I need, what are you doing? Harvesting oak tree on the other side. Oh my god, is it not calculating the actual path to it? Wow, I just think how much time we've wasted over the entire series with that. Calculate distance based on actual path. Yeah, otherwise it'll say, oh, this oak tree is only uh, 40, 50 blocks away from the research bench or manager bench. Little does it know that it's 
Obviously quite a fucking trek. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and remove all those designations. And otherwise, my boys are going to be there for hours. Right, you two can go back to work. Right, Delta, I still have specifically kept Delta with one right eye Cyclops Eyes, left eye with the Aurum, so that she's still got the negotiation of the trade implant. If we wanted to really min-max it, we could make another Cyclops implant to give to her after we're ready to launch the raid. That's maybe one of the final things we do. Can we sell them? I don't care about what we want to buy. Now, now we're here to sell. Uh, take the lot. Ambrosia, don't want it. Luciferium, which probably should keep some. Uh, Jade, take it all. Beer, take it all. Gold, <laughs> sell them one gold. Oh man, that's not enough. Sell them some uranium? We can make infinite uranium. Sell them like 300 uranium. Oh god. Uh, how much compromise do I want to make here? Sell 200 steel? I guess we can. Um, we could sell some luciferium, I guess. Sell 15 Luciferium. 18 Luciferium. 20 Luciferium. Leave us with 12. You know what? Make it around 10. There we are. 3,000 silver coming in right there. Just <laughs> break straight through the shield generator. Never mind. 450 silver or however much we got from that. I think the Hall of Bots beat me to it. Now we can rearrange this absolutely horrific research room. Um, obviously, there's no point because we're never going to do any research again as far as I know. But uh, we can tidy it up a little bit because it is a bit of a dump. You know what? Take it apart. We don't need it anymore. I'm going to take the whole thing apart. And if, if we do need it again before the end, I will rebuild it better. Because this is arguably the worst room anyone's ever designed in RimWorld. Granted, we kind of... We, remember, this was what we cut into the mountain. And then we were expanding it bit by bit. And then we added the third research bench. Oh, God. The whole thing was a complete mess. The worst research room we've ever done in, in any RimWorld series. And taxes, too. Okay. That, I'm hoping, between those and obviously our future trade caravan should be here within the day. We might have enough now to get through the last of those implants. It also just occurs to me how many freaking spiders we've got. Um, who's set to handle? Halitos. Oh, Halitos is obviously, uh, I guess, wiped out from his injuries. You know what? You need to come and deal with this, my friend, because this is, this is out of hand. You bitch, trying to stop me at the last second. Oh, that one looks hefty. Oh my god, it is. Wow. It's very centralized, isn't it? Are there any mortar shields there? Um... Next recharge for one day in 7.8 days. If we can EMP that, we could spend some of our silver. No, we can't afford it. I was going to say to call an artillery strike and take it out. Um, although, to be fair, we've got enough artillery. You know what? How is this not the best test bed we could have possibly asked for? If we can't defeat a crappy little mechanoid cluster, how are we ever going to hope to beat the Empire? What the hell are even those? Oh, those are gigantolopes, right? Yeah. Um... So we need EMP shells, which I'm pretty sure we have a boatload of somewhere. So let's go ahead and set this one to EMP. Uh, clear all. Let's go EMP shells on you. And then um, set force. Let's go stop force attack. Just set it somewhere around here. These things are so inaccurate that, to be honest, it will take a very, very long time to uh, destroy it if we're relying on this. So we're just going to set all of them target in the center. And the, and the actual spread of the, the shells should do a significant amount of damage anyway. Uh, right, so this one needs to be fired first. Is everybody in, in decent health? Helotos is still injured a little bit from his, from his panther running, but he's fine. He's, he's good enough to fight. Defensive positions. No, hang on. Probably put on your cataphract gear first in hindsight. Let's get everyone equipped with their weaponry as well. No idea how the Tesla cannons are going to work against Mechanoid. I would assume it works pretty well. It seems like it would be something that would interfere with their systems, but, I mean, this is completely untested. They might be immune to it, and we might end up getting our ass handed to us. Let's see what we can do, then. Um, has everybody got range from where they are? Okay, so the ones with the Tesla cannons actually need to come down here. Uh, let's move them. I'm just going to move them out of the way to staff with. Bear with me. Um, let's get you over there. The ones with the actual charge, or, sorry, the laser... Miniguns need to come up to the top section. Ideally, we want to cram them in it as close to this box as possible. Sure, it'll leave them more susceptible to centipede fire, but we are wearing cats right here at the end of the day. And then everyone else needs to come here. Are they within the... Yep, that's fine. Okay, those we're going to save as our new defensive positions then, just in case while we're still setting up, we get more incursions, invasions, whatever else. So then we'll redirect Delta Fear... Uh, no, no, Delta Watts it. Sir gets knocked out a lot, and Fear can be... Fear is the one where we care about accuracy the least. So we'll get Fear on this one. You guys need to hold fire. Halitos has decided to break down just before we started firing because he's a moron. Hold fire. Okay. You can fuck off. Oh, you've annoyed me, Halitos, you dick. Okay. Stop holding fire on that one. Acquire target. 
Whenever you're ready. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, two men in cataphract armor beating the shit out of one another. Great. Thank you. Fear's going on. What is wrong with you? Oh, you people suck. This is the one time in days and days and days I've asked them to be prepared for combat. And what have they fucking done? Started fighting amongst themselves. Like the cowards they are. Okay. Um, Rose. Rose, I need you on this artillery then, my friend. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Set force target. Go for the mechanoids. Anywhere is fine. Thank you. You Actually, let's go for the mortar shield first. Let's see if we can take that down. Set force target there. Okay. She should start firing right now. And then the rest of you also set force target on that. Oh, I need to redo that now. Shit, hang on. Bear with me. Um, we need to go one, two, three. Set force target on the mortar shield. Uh, Unsick hold fire. There we go. That one's going first. Boom, very nice. And then hopefully these guys will follow up with a pretty decent shot. It's the only problem with having those uh, EMP shells so far away. Yeah, she's not going to get back to, in time to fire. Okay, how are we looking? That'll do it. The shield is still down. We, we need to permanently destroy it, though. Okay, here come the mechs. Oh, God. Okay. Christ, that's a lot. I'm going to fight these without calling in our military. Let's find them without calling in the military. Defensive positions for the time being. Let's stop those bots as well. Uh, recall all. Recall all. We've got to see how well we fare. And if, if we're calling in the military, it's not a fair test. So let's see how we do. Um, oh, so I'm going to stay behind to defend them. The siege breaker is the only thing I'm concerned about because we've not actually ever seen them fire at our base. We've got the shields up. I don't know how long it will last. Wow, they got here fast. Oh, no. Well, the crawlers, I wouldn't expect them to do take much damage. Um, this is not... Tesla guns don't affect mechanoids. Okay, we've learned a valuable lesson here today. Oh, it stuns them, but that's it. Right, Okay. It's down to Sharamus then to hold the line, unfortunately. Uh, you guys need to focus far on that Scullywag. Don't let it pop the door. Oh, it popped the door. Okay, okay. Kill it dead, please. It's got a shield generator and the lasers bounce off. Oh, no. It's all falling apart. Oh, good God. Um, It can't penetrate the shield generator. Fuck. Uh, can we hit that from there? See if we can stun it. There you go. Shield generator is down. Right, take it down, take it down. Come on, come on, kill it dead, kill it dead, kill it dead. Um, we need some stuns going back here as well, if you don't mind. Fuck. This is bad. This is, we, we've, we've highlighted the issue with our plan. I, I'm, I'm going to say it rather stunningly, I think is the right way. Oh my god, they popped the other doors as well. Okay, this has been a massive failure, an abject failure. A massive, complete, total fucking waste of time. Complete failure all around. We need charge weaponry. All that time, we went for gorse rifles, we went for laser guns, fucking wasted time, we should have just stopped with our original charge weaponry. The, the, the shields are overheating to the extent they're now they're, they're causing fires to spread, as you can see around. We're going to have to call in the military. I said I wasn't going to do it, but this is quite literally life or death. We're just going to watch our people die, if not. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Fuck these laser weapons. Should have just stopped with the old faithful. Okay, um... No assigned squad. What squads have we got? We've got 13,000 points available. Uh, that was 30,000. I'll design a bunch of 2,500 point squads quickly. I will admit, these squads are not here to win this war. These squads are here to soak up some bullets so that our boys don't. Quite simply. Um, the last thing I want is for the mechanisms to be ripping limbs off of our people. Because then we would have to spend a very, very long time rebuilding. Uh, right, deploy. No, 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 we've already deployed those. Wait. Oh, sorry, no squad assigned, right? My bad. Is that they've only got 500 points because they were just absolutely smashed by a raid. Okay, drop them down then. Oh, God, those are behind enemy lines. Sharon must pull forward. Sharon must pull forward. Oh, sweet Jesus. The ammo crate's on fire. Is that a concern? I feel like that's a concern. Oh, I can't believe this has gone so badly. Look at it. I, I don't even know where to begin. Um, Pierre is down. He just needs tending, though. Oh, shit. Did we... Oh, paralysis. I think we hit him with our own laser gun. Well, that's not too bad. What are you people doing? Fire at will. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Fire. Shoot at something. I don't care what. Just shoot something for fuck's sake. Uh, attack. There. Go. Shoot it. God, what a mess. Uh, Sharamus, I need you to come and bail these guys out. Good God. Get in there. Kill them dead. They're attacking the shield generator. Where is Sharamus? Oh, he's caught. Come on. Go, go, go. Get in there. Melee attack. What are you doing over there, you weird man? Get back in there. Okay, um, 
A complete mess. A complete mess. I'm, I can't begin to describe my disappointment of what was supposed to be a test of our weaponry. It ending up being arguably one of the biggest defeats we've had all series. It's just, um, this is unbelievable. If it wasn't for the cataract armor, this would be a game over. This would be an absolute game over. What's it? I don't know what you're doing, but you are not. Please, pick up your gun. Back on the front lines, for fuck's sake. Okay. I think, somehow, we're going to pull through it. We need to remove some of the... Oh, great. Our fucking traders here. Fucking... Just incredible news. Thank you. We need to get rid of the Tesla cannons. They're sure they might be fine against humans. We need to drop a few in and change them out for charge weaponry. Okay, after a significant time spent cleaning house, I think we're good. Helitos is actually... Still fine. Is anyone bleeding out? Is anyone bleeding out? No. The armor actually held. Helitos took a lot of damage. Helitos already had a lot of damage. Um... Is that it? So when we take that thing out, it's just a case of getting all the doors closed. Never hold open. Uh, take, disable that one. Where is the trade caravan? Coming around there. We've got to watch out for that siege breaker. Um, oh, this is so sad. It's just so sad to watch. The only weapons that were any use whatsoever were the, were the laser miniguns. And even then, it's debatable. Right, get down there, kill that pikeman. I think I'm also going to send Sharamus in after this one, too. Uh, quickly get out there. Melee attack that thing. Rose, what's going on here? Are we rescuing our people? Uh... So it gets knocked out a lot, ironically, is one of the only few knocked out here. Where is, uh, who else are we needing to rescue? Halatos is in the, okay, you're good. Oh, that's it. Pierre got back up. Oh, right, I guess he was just tased or something like that. Right, go kill that siege breaker before it gets out of hand. A complete mess. But that's exactly why I'm glad we did it. It's not a complete mess in the sense that we got to test this rather than on the Empire and watch everyone die, because that would have been a real tragedy. Okay, thank you, squad. You guys have been very helpful. Um, if you guys could attack the mechanoid cluster that would be pretty great we need to finish this off very very soon as well well they tried the best um fortunately their, their best was absolutely nowhere near good enough could, could have at least taken out the moth shield how selfish okay uh charge weaponry then do you think we should order some up can't believe that i just just so annoyed i smelted all that charge oh well, we might actually have some no we don't it's gone what is she doing what the fuck is she doing I can't believe that. She went on a food binge. She walked all the way down to the mechanoid cluster, ate a meal, and then walked all the way back. You absolute moron fool. Oh my god, the hauling bots are going down there. Bollocks. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Recall all. Alright. Um That was that was some that was just disrespect, realistically. That was just disrespect to the mechanoids. Let's let's blow up this mechanoid area and then we'll um then we'll get back to business. All right, MPs away. Let's see if we can take out that shield generator. That would help out quite a lot. Uh, you know what? Those look like they are pretty decently on target. Oh, God, no. They are way out. Oh, fucking really? Oh, God, you people suck. <laughs> it might just be easier to send Sharamus in to smash it. How many How many are left? We got three auto-charge turrets, two auto-inferno. Send him in. Send him in. We try and these, try and rely on these morons running these turrets. It's, it's just never going to happen. We're just never going to kill the damn thing. We'll send in Mr. Sharamus, who is going to dodge everything thrown at him like a mighty warrior that he is. He is going to get in close, and he is going to rip him apart. In fact, Sharamus, go for the shield generator first and foremost, my friend. Get in there. Just run straight past him. He does not give a shit. They've got a minimum range, actually, so we could, uh, we could get right up close to these two. Deal with those as soon as possible. My god, look at him go. The mighty warrior that is Sharamus. Disassembles mech clusters single-handedly. Where four artillery failed, Sharamus will prevail. Uh, unless he gets caught in this explosion, at which point that might be a little bit devastating. Uh, okay, get over there. No, 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 no. I hate the pathfinding in this game. It makes me want to shit. You suck. You're all terrible. Okay, go on. Take that one down as well. Oh, God. Okay. Stop. Pause, please. Thank you. What the hell happened up there? Oh, the orcs left. Right. Okay. Good shit. He actually avoided that one. Very nice work, Sharamus. Let's get this one down as well. And then I'm just going to let him run butt wild and smash all of these mechanoid assembly bays. This should be it, right? This will disable the entire cluster. Oh, there's another one over there I missed. My bad. Never mind. All right. Take this one down first. Those bullets are not going to stop him. I'm sorry. You should have bought more charge turrets, my friends. And with that... Fail. We're fine. Boom. We're done. Hey, there we go. Countless defeated. Nice work. 
You can take off your armor now, everyone. You can take off your armor. My god, what a complete mess. An agricultural trader. A kind gift. Right, Delta, take your, take your armor off. Wow, that was, um... I was intense there for a while, but I think we're good. We got a lot of resources out of it as well, so that should be enough to build our, uh, our new charge weaponry. The mighty charge weaponry. All this time I spent all that all that time and research, and it turned out it's right in front of us all this time. Blitzer World Trader. Whoa, okay. Uh, maybe another way to bring in a little bit of... Maybe another way to bring in a little bit more silver. Uh, we need the advanced components. Thank you. We need the... Oh, how much? <laughs> 503 per component. You're right. You can fucking keep them for that, my friend. Um, have you got any charge? LMGs. They've got them. They've got them. They're just, just give me that. Let's cut the middleman. Let's cut the middleman. I bet we sold them these in the first place, I'd like to point out. Um, can we offer you guys anything in return? Perhaps some... Um, Hyperweave. Actually, not a terrible idea. Uh, 600 of them, in fact, for my good friends. Sorry, I'm, I meant 900 for my good friends. There we are. Um, done. Excellent. Weapon upgrades that we've so desperately needed. How's this for our final lineup? Three Tesla cannons for the stun damage. Obviously, they'll be somewhat effective against humans, but in the event that they've got shield generators, we've got some charge LMGs. They're the second highest DPS weapon in the game besides charge miniguns. However, these things have much further range to it, so overall, the damage we could do to one person could be a lot higher because we've got a lot more range to actually hit them in. Then we've got Pierre, What's It, and Pork with the... Uh, Laser miniguns, uh, obviously significant damage, good armor penetration too. Edward Crosby will also have a charge LMG, but he's too busy watching TV right now for our military drill. And then, of course, Mighty Sharamus. Wow, this is, I still think we're just going to get absolutely wiped, but what can I do unless they start sending me some prisoners to recruit? God damn, this is looking good now. Look at that. We should probably take some uh, medicine with us as well, just in case we need to do any sort of battlefield triage. But this is, this is pretty nice. We've got the cloth productions coming very, very fast because of these, obviously, crazy farms we've got going on right now. That coupled with the mountain neutramium we've got from the fact that we've had boomlope since basically the first few episodes, we can really cash in on it now. We could just churn out as much glitter world, obviously not as much as we want, but a significant amount of glitter world medicine. And I'm sorry to say it, but that's all the bionics we can make. Uh, pain gain the trait philanderer. What the hell does philanderer do? Um... Can I be trusted to say, oh, right, of course, we've got Rational Romance, haven't we? All right. So, here's the plan. War were declared. That is the last of the upgrades possible. Now, the people we didn't get to finish off fully upgrading already have a pretty significant amount of upgrades. Helitos has the, the, the muscle wires, which obviously give them manipulation. He's got the flash lamps for the accuracy. Bionic stomachs, we've got muscle wires. We've got mutant arms. I mean, Charis is, is more than good. He should be on the other side of the road, to be fair. Um, Edward Crosby is also heavily upgraded. Pork is now almost heavily upgraded. We needed two ear implants for him. Pierre was one thing off of being upgraded. It, everybody had some sort of power. Now we need enough drop pods to send them all. We've got 11 people. We need 11 drop pods. I don't know if we're even going to have enough fuel for all of that in hindsight. Are we going to have enough steel? Uh, are we going to have enough everything for this? My god. Okay, uh, let's start putting those down. These will launch into orbit. Why can't we launch it? Oh, not enough fuel. Right, right. right. Let's go maximum fuel level at all times. Thank you. What? Oh, you can put the launch platform. We can't put the bloody pod on it because if the... Oh, that's the stupidest shit I've just about ever seen. Okay, um, we'll put one there then. That can be for Delta. She can lead the charge. Having a party. This will be the last party they ever have, unfortunately for them. Well, I mean, it might be the last party they ever have, so they probably should enjoy it. Go on then. Uh, Pork, are you not gonna... Pork's too busy. The work never stops for Pork. I appreciate that work ethic. Okay, I think we've got enough to launch the beams into orbit now. So let's go ahead and get them out of here. And we'll get Delta equipped with... Obviously, the weaponry themselves. She'll take those. General Delta, Battlefield Promotion. She'll be able to call in both the beam and the orbital. Maybe it'd be better to split them out a little bit. Rather than put all, all the eggs in one basket. Now, nah, what am I talking about? Of course, we'll uh, we'll only give it to Delta there. Okay, just got to fuel up the last couple of drop pods here. We did get some taxis coming. Whether or not that'll give them time to make any more bionics, it remains to be seen. But I think these are going to be done long before then. Okay, so I might have, might have lied a little bit. I did let them have a few more upgrades. So basically, everybody is completed. Pork is now missing his right ear upgrade. But besides that, I mean, I will admit, Rose has definitely got the bad part of the deal here. Rose so gets knocked out a lot in Heraldos, but we just can't afford it unless we sit around for another attack cycle, which is not really in the spirit of things. So here's what we're going to do then. We'll do a final review of weapons. After we're comfortable with the weapons being in a good place, I'm just going to let them have a complete day of recreation. Then the day after that, we fight the Empire. So we should have three 
uh, we've got three charge minigans, laser minigans, sorry. We've got four charge LMGs. We've got two of the taser cannons instead of three that I, I immediately went for. And then Sharamus. Am I missing anyone? No, I'm not. That is the crew. I am missing someone. Who the fuck has not turned up? Pork. Pork. Hurry up. Four laser miniguns, two Tesla cannons, four charge LMGs, and Sharamus with his fancy big boy sword. I'm going to let them have a day of rest, a day of recreation. Let them just sort their life. It's Helitos called Sharamus his son a dragon. I don't know if that's much of an insult, to be honest with you. Let's let them have an entire day off. And then the day after that, we are going to be going for the Empire themselves. All of our militaries are off with cooldown. Our orbital beacons are in the sky, waiting to rain down hell. This is it. This is what it all comes down to. Oh, shit. Delta created a legendary shield belt. Well, that was convenient. Um, I don't know where that's ended up, to be honest with you. Uh, are they recycling it immediately? Shield. Yep, they fucking are. Oh, no, wait. It was Masterwork. No, they definitely didn't. I have no idea where that's ended up. I think it went on Sharamus' armor rack. Uh, excellent. Where is that? Sh oh, Sharamus has got it equipped. Oh, cool, because he's the only one obviously allowed to have it equipped. Very nice. It's 231 for a shield bat. It's pretty good. Are we ready? Should we go and hit them at night time? Well, we've got the element of surprise. It's still foggy. We should really let that clear up. Okay, 5 a.m. Let's start loading. I know the fog hasn't cleared quite yet, but that would take... That would take we could be there for a while. Oh, they have to be adjacent to launch more simultaneously. That's awful. Um, okay, squad up then, team. Go and equip from Armorak. I want to make sure that Sharamus maintains that legendary shield belt, because that could genuinely be the difference between life and death. Uh, has he kept it on? Excellent. No, no, no. You need to swap that out for the other one. Uh, Forswear that one instead. Boom. There we are. Okay. Everybody looks to me like they're ready to go, besides What's It, who's apparently off for a fucking picnic. Whenever you're ready, my friend, we've got an empire to topple. Look at that. Look at this. The final lineup. Take a good look at this, people, because we are not coming back here potentially ever, depending on how badly this goes. All right. What else do we need then? Um, meals, because I do intend on bringing at least some of them back. Let's do it. Load pod at group of four. We'll just start at the top and work our way down. Items, give me some... Uh, how many have we got? 82. Um, we're going to have to do this in four different lots. So we'll take 20 meals per, per set of pods. Uh, and then this lot will go... Uh, you, one, two, three, four. There we go. And then package survival meals. Let's take another 20 of those, if you don't mind. And then the last couple of... Well, if you... Oh, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. And then these two will be you two. And then we'll send Sharamus in his own pod. I might even be tempted to drop Sharamus in the center. I feel like I might be mad. It's in hindsight. We'll see how that goes. Accept, confirm, and then load Sharamus in with meals. Or not. Oh, excuse me. Sharamus in with meals and... Medicine. So let's go Glitter World Medicine as much as will fit on the pod. I think that's probably going to be all 10. Accept. Confirm. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, team. I can't believe they got him without loading their own pods. Ridiculous. Just went on Sharamus now. Godspeed, gentlemen. Launch. Wait, what are we missing? Package survival meal. Oh, did someone not pack their meals? How many do we actually take then in the end? I think we're good. I think everything's gone. All right. Here we go. Launch group. Confirm. Empire. What do you think? At the center? We give them as a gift. Wouldn't that be a way to end the campaign? Everybody gets turned into an emper imperial slave. Drop it at the edge. Goodbye. Oh, just those two. Okay, that's, that's what I meant. Sorry, just those two. Uh, confirm. At edge. Goodbye. Okay, there goes Sharamus. This is, this, is, this is so annoying that they couldn't all launch. Oh, no. I think I just launched those guys as a caravan. My bad. Uh, right, let's try that again. Drop in at edge. Boom. Some of those guys have gone somewhere haywire because of uh, an unfortunate misclick. Wow, this is strange. Where, what, so some of, where are some of them going? I think I dropped them in a tile just outside. Um, fuck, we might have to hang around for a while and let them turn up. I hope I didn't overshoot them too far. Well, here it goes. First person is about to set down, and now we're going to see... What the Empire's capital looks like after all this time. It would have been kind of cool to leave the Citadel till last, but I don't think we could have ever, with enough, even with 100 episodes, could have taken that Citadel. That was absurdly fortified, like, way too strong. It's taken a long time, which is a good sign. It means we're in for a good challenge. 
but it also might mean, very similar to the Citadel, we might get our ass handed to us in no time at all. They're there. Attack has begun. Delta and Edward Crosby land first. What are we fighting? Oh my fucking god, it's a fortress. It's actually a giant fortress. Look at it. <laughs> wow. I don't even... We don't even know what we're up against here. That's awesome. Power mod update, by the way. All right, where did you guys land? Oh, slightly over. Yeah, come, come, and, come and join us if you don't mind. Attack has begun. There we are. Okay, everyone's, everyone's landed down. Did we all land in roughly the same area? You guys all need to... The hell's going on? Oh, they're still getting out of their drop pods. Yeah, still landing, I see. All right, there we are. Just went on rows. Right, everybody, squad up. Let's get into a somewhat defensive position. We're going to go hide behind these mountains. Just in case the Empire come out for us. They've got mortars coming in. Imagine having walls built out of citrine. Which I think is just a type of fancy looking quartz. Wow, these guys are, are rich. We've got to wait for fear and everyone else to join us. What the? Oh my god, the caravan's mobile. They can't move. Oh no. Um, we're going to have to abandon some stuff then. Goodbye. 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 There we are. We're just underway now. Okay, get in there. Attack. It's going to take a long time for them to get here. Drop the other stuff. We don't need it. We don't need tools. We don't need tools. I am the only tool here. Right, goodbye. Attack. Our reinforcement is going to take some time to get a bit of a bit of a haywire drop pod incident there, I'm afraid. Okay, where do we even begin to... Uh, should we go through this door? It doesn't seem like the best entrance point. There's no entrance points down this wall. Obviously, we can't attack by the sea. That is the only entrance. Unless we... Unless we rip through the walls themselves. Sharamus, make us a hole. Make us a hole, Sharamus. Get us in there, chief. Okay. Um, the rest of you just open fire. Let's get, let's get ourselves away in here. Keep firing. Never stop. What are we looking at? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at the generators they've got. And how many Empire people are we looking at? That's a lot of Psykers. We're looking at 36 Imperials. The majority of which are Psykers. Uh, we're looking at Recon Armor. We're looking at Cataphract Armor. We are looking at Mortars. We are looking at Auto Cannon Turrets. Uh, we've got cannons. Are there any uranium slug turrets? Slug turrets might be the only things that can rip through our armor at this point. Uh, I can't see any. We might be okay then. Okay. We need to burst our way through these walls properly. That is not enough of an entrance. Oh, God, Delta, be careful. Okay. Uh, keep keep firing. Keep firing. Sharamus, move forward. Let's keep ripping away through these walls then. Give us a good way to... Fucking my God. Hit by a cannonball immediately. Well, I would say keep moving, but I don't think we have that option anymore. Uh, you know what? You guys just you guys just keep keep running around. Keep running around, especially you missing the foot. Sharamus will cut us away through these walls. Oh god. Cut, 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 go through, go through, go through. Okay. Get in there, get in there. Next next wall, next wall. Never stop. Slice your way through, Mr. Sharamus. As long as our boys keep moving. They're not going to be able to hit us. You know, go for Sharamus. That's fine by me. Guess not out a lot. Will you fuck off? He just took a cannon to the chin and laughed it off. Sharamus the immovable. Slay that wall. <laughs> I can't believe that this is the... This is how it's going. We're stuck. Call in the allies. Call them in within enemy lines. Cause chaos. We need to take out these cannons. Okay. Do it. Colonies? I need... Do we have enough silver? We don't have any silver, do we? Call me in some friends then. Military tab. Uh, available troop. Deploy. Deploy. What have we got? Uh, Anti-mech squad. We're going to have to set up a new squad specifically for busting them. So we've only got two squads. I'm going to send in. Let's deploy. I need some boys here to take out those cannons. And then we're going to set some down. Probably this 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 side as well. Just cool, really cause some chaos. Try and draw some of the troops over. This is a suicide run for these guys. I'm sorry to say. So let's go ahead and deploy the other military too. This 30, what are we looking at? 50,000 on this one. Safety Creek is unavailable right now. So let's deploy the 50,000. These are just a few of them, but you might recognize this squad. This is the Hammerer squad that we had previously. And these guys, I think, are going are gonna to do a lot of damage. With a couple of extra orcs in there for, for really laying down some fire. Right, get in there. Take out that cannon. Give Sharamus some cover to keep cutting through the wall. Get through there. Get through. We're almost in. We're almost in. Turgut's not how a lot. It's really struggling. Halitus just got hit by a cannibal. Leg's been torn off. Oh, God. Where are, where are our backups? They're just about to land. They're just about to get here. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Get ready to rush. Oh, why is he still on fire? You fucking useless ass. Someone help this man. 
Try to arrest him. Oh, I don't want you to arrest him. I want you to extinguish the... Why can't I extinguish him? You know what? Let him die. Oh, let him die. I'm not fucking around with, with Rimward UI at this point. Let him burn. <laughs> See how little patience I have for trying to extinguish people. I've had enough of that to last me a lifetime with the last series. Come on. Get through. We're in. Okay. Go team. There are going to be a lot of turrets going for us. So we're going to send Sharmus in first. Take out the turrets. That is an anti-grain IED. Please be careful. For the love of fucking God, please be careful. Attack has begun. Deer's caravan has arrived and is ready to attack. Boom. Reinforcements. A little bit late, but never mind. It's our minigun squad. Okay. Uh, now that we've got some room, you guys better come in and help us out here. Okay. Oh my god, that anti-grain warhead is going to go off like a fuck. <laughs> Just occurred to me that that turret is probably going to explode and take a lot of our boys out with him. Oh, Edward Crosby. He's gone. Edward Crosby's gone. Unbelievable. What an explosion. Fucking hell. The fire. Honestly, just let him burn. I honestly just do not care about Sir Gets Knocked Out a lot. Let him die. Right, Sharamus is in. Cut him to death. Kill them all. Can we search and destroy? Running gun. Uh, There's no search and destruction, unfortunately. Our people have done some good damage over there. Fuck. Okay, get into some cover. Get into some cover right now. Just keep slicing. We need to keep our distance as well, because those IEDs are pretty ridiculous. Some Imperials are flame. Bear in mind, it's not all of them, though. Wow, these Zeus Hammer squads have absolutely ripped them apart, haven't they? Holy shit. This is, this is going a little bit nuts. We've got anti-material rifles. They've got steam tech. Wow. I can't believe that IED. That was, that was absurd. My god, Edward Crosby, his corpse is gone. They completely incinerated the man. Pierre must be devastated. Uh, is he okay? Hang on. My husband, Edward Crosby, died. Minus 20. He didn't die more than he was removed from existence with, with antimatter. He probably didn't feel a thing, if it's any consolation. All right, let's go and secure this base then. Unfortunately, making those guys play is only half the battle. We've got to actually destroy all of the turrets for it to count as a victory. Look at how many... Oh, no way. What? <laughs> we just having to cut through the, the one place where we were going to get fairly lucky with that. Can you run through now without catching fire, you moron? Right, everybody, let's try and regroup. Let's try and regroup a little bit. Bring our boys together. There are a lot of Imperials coming our way. Oh, God. Get behind some cover. Quick, 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 quick. Get behind some cover. Okay. Right, watch out for these boys. Uh, They have just no regard. They're just trying to get out of here, aren't they, at this point? Don't let them go. Don't let them go. Gun them down. Wait, where, where are our backup squad? You guys are on Imperial murdering squad. Get here. Okay. Second they cross that threshold, they're going to get gunned down. Uh, let's go get Sharmus to try and block the door. Prevent some of them leaving. That's what we're after. True revenge. Pain is dead. Ble Did he bleed out from his leg being shot off? Uh, Heracross killed him. Who is Heracross? Oh, a cataphract wiped him out. It's two losses so far. Two out of the first 11 are dead. Uh, we need revenge. Where's Delta? That was Delta's son. Get revenge for your son, little Delta. Another area revealed. Come on. Take him down. Oh, he killed us with a charged shotgun of all things. That's surprising. Okay. Let's try and regroup a little bit then. We, we've killed the stragglers to form a lineup back like around here, don't we? Oh, the turrets though. They're so strong. Um, There's no cover parallel to the turret, so I think we just rush it down. I think we just get our boys together. Why are they not drafted? Oh, he is drafted. He's just taking a long time to get over here. Okay. Let's get Sharamus in there. See if we can cut these things down. I'm going to sh send Sharamus probably around the perimeter. Try and take out what turrets we can. We've got to be careful of how we deal with it, though. Actually, no, don't send Sharonis, because if he triggers a turret again and it hits an IED, like that thing, when it explodes, will wipe out most of these walls. And that, in turn, will probably hit that IED. That, in turn, will hit that IED. Could we maybe cause a chain reaction if we're... if we do this right? Let's take a look. Okay, go for that... No, 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 you guys are focusing on the wrong turret here. Go for that one, Sharonis, keep your distance. My god, my man. Um, okay, here comes Pierre. What's it? Fear? No, no survivors. No survivors. I thought we agreed with that. Don't you dare. Gun him down. Oh my god, the fire is absurd. You guys are on survivor squad. Pierre, please. Oh god, port's getting peppered. Oh, Pierre can't actually get to them. There's a door in the way still. Let's go ahead and knock that wall down then, Pierre, if you don't mind. Okay, how are we doing over here? Not bad. Let's set that chain reaction off. Can we hit that turret? Why are they not firing? People, we need to, we need to have a chat about your inability to perform basic combat function. Oh, they just can't see it, really? Right, come on, trigger it, trigger it. Let's, let's set this explosion off. We might be able to wipe the entire wall out of this entire base. Come on. There we go. Random event, great, great, great. Get up here. Go, hit that one. 
Come on, blow up. Come on, blow up. <laughs> this is this is killing me. The anticipation. There we go. Boom. Oh, there it is. The fireworks begin. Holy shit. Oh, it's so... Oh, that was, that's a shame. I was really hoping it would go all the way around the edge of the base. That would have been incredible. But that's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and set all of those off. That will help really, really clear the outside of the base nice and safely. Okay. Get rid of all this crap. How are we looking? Are those survivors gunned down? Survivors are stopped. Thank God for that. Okay, get through. Let's, let's get our people to regroup now. Oh, gets knocked down a lot. Has ironically been gets knocked down. Um, is it pain? Right, it's the pain that's knocked him down. Sleep it off then. I, I mean, we're, we're operating on the opposite of no man left behind. All men left behind in this situation. All men left behind forever. If you, if you go down, you stay down. So who have we got left? Pain, pain is obviously gone. Gets knocked down a lot and Halitos are down as well. We are down to seven people from the original 11. Okay, uh, right, we've got some more IEDs to disarm here. Jaramus! Don't do it. Don't be a hero. Oh, fucking hell. Well, that was a little bit closer for comfort. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Rose is gone. What the hell? That was way closer than the range said it was going to be. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, there's still Imperials around, though, don't forget. There's actually still quite a lot of Imperials around. Let's take it slower. We're down to we're down to six now. Poor Rose, dedicated her whole life to getting revenge against the Empire and and uh, Omega from last series, and that's how she ended up. Unbelievable. Okay, that should trigger that one. We've got another IED down there. If we could hit that IED, we might be able to kill that other Imperial without so much as breaking a sweat. Push forward. Let's get behind some cover where it's possible. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Move away from that. Okay, whenever you're ready. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. Can we hit that from here yet? Who's got a long-range weapon? Uh, these things are fairly long-range. We're still not quite close enough. Get down here. What's it? Trigger it. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're, you're more accurate than this, what's it? Oh, for fuck's sake. No, he's really not. Okay. Sharamus, get in there. We're going to go wipe out some of these. Oh, they're all downed. My bad. I thought some of them were stood up there, but no, they are all just straight up dead. So it's really just a case of taking out their defense grid now, and then it's ours. Good lord. Okay. Right, let's go for another chain reaction on these IEDs. That's probably the most fun I've had with this with this game in a long time. Just watching that massive explosion was uh, was pretty great. Where's it gone? Did we destroy it without it blowing up? Oh, there's one. Charamus. Slay. Charamus is going to be the guy that just picks apart the uh, the random stragglers. And these five are going to be the ones kind of taking out their absurd defense grid. We're going to focus on the turrets and obviously the IEDs. The IEDs should really be the top priority because they're the only things that can kill us, I would say, at this stage. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's call in let's call in some Gotta Down running on the center. Here we are. Uh right, so Delta is on a mission to get to the center, take out the complex of the base. You guys, who are we waiting for here? We seem to have lost a man. Um We've got you. Where's Pork? Oh, Pork's all the way back there. What's wrong with Pork? Why is he moving so slow? Uh 111%. Oh, he's just he's just taking his time. He's just having a leisurely stroll. That's alright. There's nothing actually wrong with him. He's just being extremely lazy. Okay, let's go for this one. Uh, when you guys are ready. Oh, I don't think we can hit it from here. My god. Okay. Take out this turret. We'll move behind these sandbags. Let's get rid of this too. How's Sharamus doing? I haven't checked on him in a while. Fine. Knocked her down. Is there anyone else we could get him to take down? A lot of the survivors are dead. Right, so let's send you to go after some of these turrets. I'm hoping we'll also acquire some of them as well. If we can take out this one, we can then press forward a little bit more. Base destroyed. Oh, that actually counts. Whoa, we've actually done it. Damn, I thought we would have to take out all the turrets. I was expecting this to be a lot harder than that. Holy shit. Um, Delta, still calling in. Still calling in here. Come on. Let's do it. Right. Get get, get that big gun. Which one is that one? The beam, do you think? We should probably move away. Oh, my God. That was the beam. My bad. <laughs> I thought that one was going to be the... Um, good Lord. Look at the weaponry they had. Laser guns, they had laser SMGs, they had masterwork shield belts. Cassie's basic sterilized pain stick. That sounds like something from a completely different game. Let's go for a uh let's go for just the, the regular strike there then I guess, and then Delta can run back in this direction. Oh my god, it's instantaneous. Delta, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it came in that fast. Oh, she's fucking dead. I might have just killed Delta. Well, how the hell are you supposed to use that, then, if you can only use it within range of 
The weapons! Oh well, whatever. She'll be fine, I'm sure. It's just a flesh wound. She actually might be fine. She's definitely not going to be fine, is she? Right, we're sending Sharamus back to come tidy up some of these turrets. Let's go and take out... Oh, Halitos bled out. That's a shame. Let's go and... What the fuck did you guys just do? <laughs> what the fuck did they just do? Oh, that was an anti-grain warhead. You... No. Not like this. Not like this. And then there was one. Victory. Oh my god, there's a slug turret. Charamus, Charamus, you need to get out of there. Charamus, 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 Charamus. I'm not losing everybody. Get the fuck out of here. Run. And so it was. The end of the Empire. But also the end of Empire Sphere. Well, actually, no. No, that's not true at all. The rise of a new empire. The Empire of Sharamus. All hail. The one true king this entire series. Delta and her hubris blew herself to pieces. The other people might have accidentally walked over an IED because I think I might have hit move. I think I might have hit melee attack rather than shoot in hindsight. Fear lives, but for what reason? Torn apart besides their implants. They're, they're, they're dead within within no time. So it gets knocked out a lot. I, I might actually survive it. And you know what? There can be only one. There can be only one. The Empire of Sharamus will live to see another day. As he walks through the chaos of this town that we hit with, with bombs and lasers, set off an IED protection grid. Only one man can walk away victorious. Bruised. The most damage he took was a crushed kidney. A slight crush to his kidney. Six points of damage. Yet the orc is unbroken. I'm sorry it gets knocked out a lot. This is the end of you. No, 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 no. I, I don't think you understand. This is the end of you. Goodbye, my friend. There is only one. And that one is Sharamus. Walk home, my friend. Walk home. What a, what, a, what a story. A story of revenge that only ended in one thing. A complete loss of humanity. Only a cyborg survived. And as we leave the smoldering ruins of the Empire, successful in our mission, but sacrificing everything that made us Empire's fear along the way. I say thank you for watching. That looks like it says clits, so I'm going to zoom out so YouTube doesn't pick up on that and, and scream at me for saying a, a, a biological word. Well, somewhat. Thank you for watching. Sharamus returns home to his empire. Sharamus lives and so do his other settlements. This is, an, this is a, a realm ruled by, ruled by Sharamus. And I've never been more proud. What a complete mess. <laughs> what a complete absolute shit show that was towards the end there. Wow. Thank you all for watching. I wanted that to have an explosive end and I couldn't think of anything more appropriate than just pure incompetence. That That is completely on brand for this one. Incredible work. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, regardless. Uh, tomorrow will most likely not be uh, a reward episode, because of course I need time to throw together the uh, mod pack. I'm also in the middle of moving house, so that does take priority, because I don't want to live on the streets. Thank you, everybody. So speaking of uh, speaking of the people who, pr who have prevented me from living on the streets, I have to give a big thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this entire series possible in the first place. I'm going to give every single one of them a shout out. Thank you to Harry McGowan, Chris, Darth Hawk, The Potato Eater, Distorted Triangle, Tyler Kendall, Facunda Vasquez, Nostrus, Alchemia, Wilson and Tef, Layla, Caden Carter, Siltworm, Dande, Mordecane, Michael Mullen, Justin Rule, Scary Scurvy, Scott, Peyton Denisar, Chicken Wang HD, Goatfather, Iguana Squirrel, Sarabi, Gwen S, Asin and Kirito, Siric 3 and 3, Bubka, Anthony Gawley, Jonah Waters, Slippy Nips, My Name Isn't Dio, James Shea, Zazzy 711, Aromatic Fool. Oh god, this is sorry, but Bacon Kitten, Limpy George. Leo, Zetlock, Scared Blueberry, Crow Skull, Roll 1, D2 Games. Though that's me. Roll 2, D1 Games. Wen Gun, Huey, Longdong, Harik, Alex, Skaz, Ninja Tree, V, Bad Burrito 316, Atmosis, Pelvis Presley, DKO, Amethyst Corona, Rage Dragon, Jackson Woodman, Sweetsey, Justin Wallace, Ben Hofflin, Scorched, Paul, Shay, Emerald Ghost, 
11. Tom Terra 18, Gogolus, Odi, and Vacuous Bacchus all for their support. The insane tier levels on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys, and a thank you as well to... Am I going to do all 105 names? You're goddamn right I am. A thank you to the following people who have opted into the Patreon shoutout list, including Asro, Lampy, Cody Cope, King Snitch Gaming, Silent Sentinel, Cogzel, Emerald Beam, Smooth Octopus, Yoran de Vries, Dranmere, SuperDanny089, Under the Couch, Mythomatics, Motworm, Cobalt, Lotus, Jessica Smith, Shardul, Llewellyn Thomas, Harry Soft, Warcats, Astro, Better Valerian, Proximity Jones, Jacob Wolfie, Ben Saylor, Demon X Jester, Joseph Beer, Betamus Max, Chronic Blob, Kane, GB, Anchor, Udric Haddon, Choma, Hupalia, Panther Pearl, Rob Girth, Sam Kears, Fat Joe, Is It So, Callum McLeod, Monty, Hey, I'm Alex, Empty Machine, Haji Dumar, Magister Militant, Bop, G Bop, Bok, Bin, Shlomo, Gaz, Macho, Adrian Eliasson, Jeebus Crust, Flom, Noobmeister, Attila, Tonoster, Tofuten, Velta, Moira, Valkyrie, Hated, Alex Bogard, Grey, Zega the Chaos King, Justin Plock, Peanut Gorilla, Garon24, Nick Shittle Dirt, Demon, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Devorda, Cam, Outer Mostly, Nikki Sticks, Danny, Don, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Organized Confusion, Will Wade, Dion, Mason Fireblast, Void Prince Kibo, S Spirit085, Brittany Lee, Prometheo, Valkyrie, Genji Zerka, William H. Cass, Tiger Rifter, Tentacle Beast Loves Trees, Blood for the Bloodguard, Swifty 21, Gabriel Vanders, Evan Dragon 323, Mr. Awesome, Erotha, Donald, Zulu, I Am Sagatair, Night Rouge, Derek F, Tempe, Jason Sushu, Jackson P, and I See the Great. Thank you all for your support as well over at Patreon. Thank you to all the patrons, including you who have not opted in to the shout out list. For whatever reason, that would happen to be you at home. Thank you for watching. Next series will be coming hopefully within a couple of days. Next series is going to be explosive, far more so than that ridiculous ending. I'm going to take it to you at the extreme. I'm going to push it as far as we can. I'm going to have to make some compromises, but we are going to make the most ridiculous, silly mod pack using mods I've never before seen. You have my word. And then we'll do something a bit more themed and focused. But next series, I need some catharsis for all that time we had no resources. So we are going to go the most OP mods. We are not going to avoid anything. We are going to go for whatever is the most uprated and compatible with version 1.1 of Remod. See you all there.